So government of India is taking proactive steps. The hearings in court. But will we ever get uh, these scamsters back? Every country plays a political game. What they can expect. We want some, yeah, what, what do we get in return? He's hanging by a thread. All that is needed is the secretary, home secretary's signature and then a formal order for deportation. And that can happen anytime. But on the trade side, everybody complains the moment we have a meeting, we know the first question your Prime Minister is going to say is, where is Vijay Malia, where is Nirav Modi? Nirav Modi is lost up to the Court of Appeal. He is in the Wandworth's prison. They are not giving him, he is not even giving him bail. He is being detained in prison. All that is needed is the secretary, Home Secretary's signature and then a formal order for deportation. And that can happen anytime, but then every country plays a political game. What would UK want in return? I can tell you something. People in UK, I'm on the Indo-UK Business Advisory Council on the UK side. I advise the UK government on certain things relating to India, including the FTA, etc. And they always complain. They said, you know, our political... Believe me, they have, we have inherited a political system from them. They have their problems. But on the trade side, everybody complains. The moment we have a meeting, we know the first question your Prime Minister is going to say is, where is Vijay Malia, where is Nirav Modi? The government doesn't want them back. The British say, you're putting too much emphasis on something which is not that important. He says, no, it's very important for us. Where I, yeah, don't don't state. England. No, not political. He has told the British government, you can't be a trade partner and a home for fugitives. It's been that strongly put.